What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the JDW Sports Talk Show where every fan is welcome. We're not just talking sports, but we are changing lives. And man, what a week three opener. Panthers and Texans. Two two teams that aren't widely very highly spoken of right now. Um or before this game, anyways, the Panthers were still thought of a laughing stock a little bit because 2 0, first two weeks, first few weeks don't really mean much. Yeah. So, are the Carolinas pretenders? I don't know. But right now, they're hot. They're hot. They start 3 0. They're playing very well. Sam Darnold has completely shattered my expectations for him. He has completely shattered my, doubt. my doubts. Don't get me wrong. I still have a few. I still have a few. I want to see him do it the whole season. I want to see him put the whole season together as the franchise guy. He does that. I'm sold. He continues to do this. I'm sold. I've been really impressed with Sam Darnold. He has looked like a vet quarterback out there. He has looked like a very, very good quarterback out there. Not throwing many, many interceptions. Making some big plays on some big downs. And that is one of the big reasons why the Carolina Panthers have got to a hot start in the 2021 NFL season, starting 3-0. Yeah, they did have a few big injuries tonight. I'm not 100% sure what they were, but I know DJ Moore had an injury. I know Christian McCaffrey had an injury. And I know there's one more guy, Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore, the J.C. Horn. The three, those are three huge injuries. J.C. Horn has been very good the first two weeks. DJ Moore is a game changer. Very, very underrated wide receiver in the NFL. Not very highly spoken of as, you know, he definitely should be more spoken of, more widely spoken of throughout the NFL community. Then you have, you know, Christian McCaffrey, as we know, has that, had that one insane year, but, you know, he's had struggled. he has struggled to stay healthy. But I guess we'll see what happens with Christian McCaffrey. I think they'll all be fine. Hopefully they are. I know. I don't think J.C. Horn walked up, walked off on his own, and it was a no contact injury. And those injuries are always, always very scary. Always could be maybe maybe he cut wrong or put his foot down wrong and he messed up his ACL, torn his Achilles. You never know. Um. And then you go to the Texans side of the ball. You know the Texans were pretty solid the first two weeks, much better than people thought. They come out and they do very well versus the Jaguars. Then they come out and they do okay versus the Browns. You know, the talent range between the Browns and the Texans is quite large. So the Texans really proved a lot of people wrong in the sense of that that wasn't going to be a blowout and that they were going to put up a fight. They weren't just going to go in there and say, oh, oh, well, this game's over before it started. They went in there and they fought their tails off, which I absolutely love, absolutely respect it. Love that head coach. That head coach, really good motivator. We just got to see him bring it together more. Yeah, he doesn't have too much right now, you know, but this team is very, very talented. A lot of veterans. A lot of veterans that have been in the league for a while, and they know what they're doing. And, you know, I do think teams are starting to figure out, as we saw tonight, the Panthers. Panthers also have a very good defense this year. I forgot I mentioned that. Their defensive line is very solid. Brian Burns, one of the most underrated pass rushers in the entire NFL. They have so many, so many good players, you know, Shaq Thompson is another one he could rush, he could do what you need him to do, and then Jeremy Chin is solid, um, I know there's one more guy, I think it's Dante Jackson, 26, I believe that's Dante Jackson, I believe so, I'm not sure, but this group, this team, Panthers team is very solid, so back to the Texans thing, you know, as we seen, as we saw last year with the Jaguars, Jaguars came out week one, up, upset the Colts in week one, shocked the world, right? Week two, they come out and they play very well versus the Titans. I think it was week three or four, they played the Dolphins, and the Dolphins did very well against them, and teams started to figure out what they were trying to do. And once the teams get some tape, once there's more film on the board for them to watch, once there's more stable things for them to watch, that's when these team, those teams can struggle. You know, Texans were... A lot of people thought we're going to go on 16, we're even going to win a game. But they've kept some games very close. And that, I think, is because it's so early on in the season. No one has tape of how this team plays together, of how this team 
functions with all these different players, new system, new coach, all these different things, new quarterback, different quarterback at the helm. It doesn't look like Watson is going to play this year, which is a big bummer. You know, this Texans team has work to do. This Panthers team has some work to do. Both of these teams do. But teams are starting to figure out the Texans. You know, they may they may be like the Jags of last year, win week one, and then they may not win another game. You know, maybe they do win another, win another game. I could see them winning another game. I think they play the Jets, and I think they could beat the Jets. I'm, I'm not sure. With all the vets that they have, I think they might be okay. I think they might. But other than that, I don't know. I don't know. But what a Thursday night game. You know, a lot of big takeaways. Panthers are hot, are on to a hot start. Reno, Sam Darnold has shattered my expectations and quite a few others. I thought when the Panthers gave up, what they gave up for Darnold, I thought it was way too much. I thought, wow, that, that is a terrible trade. But I I fell into the social media trap, you know, as I have many times. It's tough not to. I just got to try to, we got to try to go off our own feelings, go off our own gut. And that's very difficult nowadays. But nonetheless, great game, great start to to the week three season. I will be giving you my score predictions and, or no, yeah, basically my score predictions and my, and my, the rest of my predictions for this week. And no, I did have the, I did have the Panthers winning though. I said by six, they won by a little more than six. So that's all I got you for, for you guys after the post game wrap up. So, you know, like I said, a very good game. You know, maybe we'll go to the stats here real quick. We'll go Panthers versus Texans. We'll go through some of the stats. I'll give you guys my honest thoughts and stats. Maybe, you know, we'll see some little different. Sam Darnold, 23 attempts, 34. No, 23 completions, 34 attempts. Not bad. 304 yards. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, yeah, and Chubba Hubbard, when he came in, he looked very well as well. He, 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 he looked very good as well. 11 carries, 52 yards, 4.7 average. Christian McCaffrey, 7 carries for 31 yards. Not bad, 4.4 average. And you have Royce Freeman, who came in for quite a few times. 5, five carries, 17 yards, 3.4 was the average. And then you have Sam Darnold, who, um, a, who actually carried the ball quite a bit and had two rushing touchdowns. Yeah, 8 carries, 11 yards, 1.4 yards of average. Two touchdowns. Not too bad. Not too bad. No, I think this Panthers offensive line may be something that this team is gonna, you know, struggle with on the stretch. But they had but but they have been decent. They have been decent. They've been getting the job done. And then Tommy Tremble, their tight end that they I believe they drafted in like the fifth. Something around there. Maybe maybe the fourth. I'm not sure, but nonetheless he, he had one carry for seven yards that hit paved dirt. That scored a touchdown and then DJ Moore, you know, I think it was a little trickery play where they went, you know, the tosses and stuff. He he lost a yard on that. And then you go to the receiving. DJ Moore, eight receptions, 126 yards, 15.8 yards was average. That was, that was great. That was great. That was a very good outing. Unfortunately, he got hurt. We're going to see what it was. Hopefully tomorrow we'll see, you know, maybe they'll do MRIs and stuff. I'm not really sure. I didn't, you know, finish watching the game all the way. But I did see when he got when he went out. Not sure if he came back in, but nonetheless, he had a very good day. Terrace Marshall Jr. has been a very, very good rookie wide receiver. He has made a big a big difference for Sam Darnold. He's been a really solid target. He had four receptions for 48 yards and a 12-yard reception. 12 yards per reception, solid. Tommy Tremble, one reception for 30 yards. That was a very good, very nice catch from him. That was a very good play. Chubba Hubbard. Three receptions for 27 yards and then nine yards per reception average. That, that was very good. That was very solid. I really liked that. I really l- l- liked what I saw from him in the run game and the passing game. He's shown that he is very versatile. Alex Erickson, one reception, 25 yards. Dan Arnold, the tight end. I believe he is a tight end. Two receptions for 23 yards. McCaffrey had two receptions for nine yards. And then it was Royce Freeman and Robbie Anderson. Both had one reception for eight yards. And then we go to the defense side of things for the Panthers. Shaq Thompson had a really good game. He was always in the backfield. Um, he 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 did swat down that one screen. He came he came down and, and he swatted. He batted the ball up. That was solid. Yeah, number twenty six, Dante Jackson. That's who I was talking about. Dante Jackson is a very solid corner for them. He had a really good game. Jeremy Chin, 
really, really fun safety to watch, really good playmaker. Rashawn Melvin, he used to play for the Colts, so I do know a little bit about him. He was solid with the Colts. I'm not sure how he has been with the Panthers, but, you know, I remember he was okay. I'm going to have to go back and watch a little film of him. Jermaine Carter Jr., don't know too much about him. Brian Burns, one sack. He's so underrated, man. He he is very, very good. Morgan Fox, a half a sack, very good. He 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 had a good day. He had, he got a lot of pressure. Just um, just on. I'm not sure if it's Justin or just on. Burris, solid day. Derek Brown, he's been a great great piece for his Carolina front. Sean Chandler, decent. Frankie Louvu, I think that's how you say it. He had one sack, not bad. Hassan Reddick. One and a half sacks. I forgot Hassan Reddick came to the Panthers. That's gonna be, that's gonna be huge because because Hassan Reddick is a very talented pass rusher as well. So, so that's big. J C Horn, one tackle, one assisted. We know he left early, but had a very good game. Sam Franklin, da da Daquan Jones, Brandon Zilstra, all you know contributed a little bit. So that was the Panthers, the Panther side of it. The Texans, we have, oops, hopefully I sit in here, that hopefully I don't get in trouble for that on YouTube, but um, let's get to the Texans, oh geez, let's get to, to the Texans side of things, and Davis Mills had 19 attempts for 28, for 28 attempts, 19 completion for 168 yards, one touchdown, not a bad, out, bad outing, I bet we've definitely seen some good things from him, but we've also definitely seen the inexperience at times. You know, he did step up a few times in the pocket. He, he he did show some very good things. We just want to continue to see more and more and more. Rushing, Mark Ingram. Six carries for 21 yards, three and a half yards was average. David Johnson, two carries for 11 yards and five and a half yard average. Philip Lindsay, seven carries, five yards and 0 0.7 average. So the running game definitely has to go up. But the offense line wasn't helping them. You know, they weren't really making much room for him. Brandon Cooks. Did a little sweep, like an end round, I think, and he got five yards from that. Davis Mills, I think that was like right in the beginning of the game as well. Davis Mills, one carry, zero yards, not much. Receiving, Brandon Cooks, nine reception, 112 yards with a 12.4 yards per reception. Very solid. Jordan Atkins, four receptions for 32 yards with the eight, eight yards per reception. Not too bad. Anthony Miller, four receptions, 20 yards, and one touchdown. He had a pretty good game. You know, when you score a touchdown, you always have a pretty good game. Unless, you know, you score a touchdown and then you drop a ton. Or, you know, there's always an exception to something. Rex Burkhead, one rush, five yards, five average. Chris Conley, I don't know why he's... Oh, no, this is receiving. What am I doing? I, I think I was saying rushing. But, yeah, Brandon Cooks had a really, really good game. Miller had a good game. Burkhead had a good game. Um... I do want to see Burkhead more. I think Burkhead can be a fun weapon to watch for Mills. Ingram, one negative one. Chris Conley, nothing. They go to, to the defense side of things. Kirksey, Cunningham, Hargraves, all had okay games. Lonnie Johnson, Eric Murray, Malik Collins. Guys who got a sack was Jonathan Greenard. Greenard, he, he, he had one sack. Ross Blacklock, the, um, the sophomore. Had a pretty decent outing. Jacob Martin, he doesn't he doesn't show up on the stat board, but he's a big difference on that defense. Whitney Merciless with the sack. So, you know, this team has a lot of potential. But as you see, there's a lot of vets. A lot of vets. A lot of guys that have seen a lot. So that's a big advantage. We just got to see them come together. You know, will they? Not sure. It might be like placeholders for a year or two until the Texans get some high draft picks, make some big picks, big time picks, big time signings, big time trades. That's why I'm seeing them right now. But nonetheless, very, very fun opener to watch. I really enjoyed this game. I don't know. I just really enjoyed this game. It was a fun game to watch. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys have for the rest of the week. Give me your predictions. And thank you guys for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. As always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.